All right, welcome back to Area 51 Raceway. So here's the end result of what I did. Now you can see, got a nice, nice coat on it. This is in the cold weather. So by having the dehydrator and heating up the model and heating up your paint for about 20 minutes, and you know, hot water is fine, not scalding water, and it warms the paint, shake it up, went outside, did one coat, brought the car back in the house because the house is warm, let it sit for five minutes, went back out there again, of course, shake the can up as usual, sprayed a second coat, came back in the house, wait another five minutes, went back out, did the final coat. So this is the result. So now it's just drying before I put it in the dehydrator. You can see it's got a nice shine. Now this is that Rust-Oleum 2X paint, which really does a good job of flowing and just leaving a nice coat of paint. This is how I really get nice paint jobs is I use a rattle can. I have been wanting to use some water-based paint, which I do have, but it's too damn cold to do that. And I'm not gonna use a little portable air thing to run an airbrush. That's just too much of a pain in the butt. I'm trying to get a portable one that's battery charged. I'm gonna try that out. Because in essence, if I had that, I would have done water-based because it would be in the house and the paint would be heated up. And I could, you know, do it that way, go outside, shoot and come back in. But as you can see, it came out really nice. This car is gonna be orange, obviously. Got a nice coat, so I'm gonna let this sit out. And I'm gonna stick this in the dehydrator and about, say, six to eight hours, it'll be hard as rocks and, you know, ready to go. <laughs> so that's it for Mary 51 Raceway. So you can paint in the winter. It's just you have to be uh, proactive of heating things up and a dehydrator does help. I'm not trying to push a dehydrator, but dehydrator is only a hundred bucks from Amazon, that one I have. It really helps on a lot of stuff. The only thing it's not good for is putting resin bodies in. If you put a resin body in, it's gonna distort it. Now, if you need to reshape the resin body, that's a good tool to use to heat it up and then move it around because you can do that with resin bodies. But resin bodies in this paint, you just let them sit for you know a couple days or longer, it's it's fine. So that's it from Area 51 Raceway. Just wanted to point out that's possible and that's that looks pretty good so far. So that's it, take care and have fun racing.